All right, today we're gonna go ahead and learn how to solve linear equations with unknowing coefficients. And the only way we can do that is by using these mathematical properties. So I'm gonna go ahead and really, re really quickly recap them. So we got the distributive property, which allows you to give um, this a to both the b and the c through multiplication. So a b plus a c. The addition property of equality, where you can add a number or a value to the left expression as long as you add that same value to the right. Subtraction of property, where it allows you to subtract that same value to both the left and the right expressions. Multiplication property of equality, where you can multiply to both expressions. And division property of equality, where you can divide to both expressions. So today we're asked to solve for y. And you can see right away there's two y's. There's a y right there, and there's a y right there. So the first step before you even start doing any math is you want to determine which expression is going to have your y at the end. Is it going to be the left expression or is it going to be the right? In this case, I'm going to go ahead and make the left expression the y expression, thus making the right expression um, everything else. So everything that is not a y will be on this in this right expression um, at the end after we've solved it all out. So the first step is we're going to go ahead and just simplify this um, expression using distribution. So we're going to give this v to the j and to the y through multiplication, which just looks like vj plus vy. And we didn't do anything to the right expression, so we can just leave that the same, plus 82. And now we have to now we have to get rid of the we have to eliminate we have to eliminate this y term on the everything else expression. And since it's positive I'm going to go ahead and use the addition, the addition, sorry, since it's positive, I'm going to do the inverse. The inverse here would be the subtract because it's positive. So I'm going to subtract that to both sides. So that would look like this. We'd have vj plus vy minus 61y equals 61y minus 61y plus 82. So I've just subtracted the 61y to both sides. So I've used this property correctly. And I can simplify this. 61y minus 61y, that's zero, that's gone. And here, I can't really combine like terms because v and six, negative 61, although they both have a y, um, we can't combine. Now that I've got the y's on the both sides, I wanna get rid of the everything else that's on the y side. So I wanna start by getting rid of this vj and the vj is positive, so again, I'm gonna subtract. I'm gonna subtract the vj, so we got that vj right there, minus vj, plus vy minus 61y, equals 82, minus vj. We gotta subtract that evenly, right? I'm just gonna highlight what I just did to both sides. I guess up here I, I uh, should've highlighted it as well. Now we can simplify this. We know that this is gonna zero out, and now we're left with vy, positive vy minus 61y equals 82 minus vj. And here's where, this, is, this can be kind of tricky. We're gonna, un, we're gonna undistribute. So this is what we have right now with the y's. We wanna make two things like these a's. We had two a's. We wanna make those two a's be one a. So we're gonna work backwards here and we're gonna undistribute. So we're gonna undistribute these um, these y's, sorry, I shouldn't have circled the v. We're gonna undistribute these by pulling them out. So we're gonna pull them out, and in parentheses, we have left over this v minus 61. So that's undistributing, and we have 82 minus vj. And now the last step, the last step here is to eliminate this v minus 61. Well, since the y is being multiplied, right, distribution is multiplication, the inverse of multiplication would be to divide. So we're gonna divide this left side by what we want to um, eliminate. And we're gonna divide this right side by what we want to eliminate. And we're gonna go ahead and simplify. And when we simplify, this is what's new, when we simplify these, this divides out to one, so we have one times y, one times y is just y, equals, there's nothing really here for us to simplify, so we can just leave it this, like this, 82 minus vj divided by v minus 61. And that would be our answer. Let's see, let's go ahead and see if we're right here. 
clip the clipboard in and let's pop over to con. So y equals is already there for us. 82 minus vj and all of that is divided by v minus 61. Wouldn't be terrible if I did got this one wrong. But I didn't. <laughs> and that's how you, you solve linear equations with unknown coefficients.